Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the IO renaming feature in Ableton Live 10, a really cool and useful feature I'm pretty excited about. So you can go into your preferences, and then you go into your input or output config, and then you have the ability to name each input. I have, uh, I guess, 20 inputs, or I guess um, 18 is a return. So uh, yeah, what I can do is, well, before I would, I actually physically have masking tape with everything written down on my interface on my rack here. And uh, yeah, so on channel two, I got my NT1A. Uh, three and four, I got my uh, dual SM57 setup, stereo configuration, um, or, you know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, I got my voice live vocals in stereo for uh, five and six, that's why I have it written down somewhere. And then uh, seven and eight, I have my voice live guitar, and I have like DI input and all that fun stuff in another rack. So it gets kind of confusing. So what better time than to start renaming things? So you can activate and deactivate the inputs. So same as before, kind of. You activate uh, the mono inputs in pairs, so you activate one and two. So what that means is, you know, you have the op the the option in the drop down menu or whatever you're recording for it to be in the pairs, like three and four as a stereo pair, or you can have three or four separately, so the stereo and mono. So that's that's just how that works so i have them all kind of activated because things switch around in here a lot but i'm just gonna name them anyway so for channel two i got my nt1a it's a vocal uh, mic this one uh channel one would be a uh, tube tube mic and uh they're kind of together and uh we switch between them uh three and four would be the sm57 pair so that would be over here in the stereo inputs. So SM7 stereo. So I have a, a couple options here. I can go SM57R, right? And uh, SM57 left, assuming. Or I can put a piece of, um, uh, you know, one with tape around it, with masking tape, and then one without so i can easily um you know switch switch and like kind of set it to only record channel three if i want to mic something just an amp or i can put them together and then record them in uh, three four which is the stereo kind of pair uh five six is bl vocals which is a stereo vocal processor and then this would be vl guitar right and then what I got here in channel one of my ultra gain, which would be eight, nine. Nine would be vocal dry for processing. And then I believe uh, seven. So uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 actually would be guitar di right and i can name these and switch them around and i don't need to have a piece of paper anymore and uh 19 and 20 would be uh kind of a uh, windows sounds right because that's kind of what, how my interface works it's a pro 40 for those kind of keeping track so i hit okay and uh yeah i have tube nt1a sm57 right or left or i can put a piece of tape i can have one with tape and one without so i can easily switch things around i don't need to go to the thing where i scratch the mic to figure out which one it is very useful the sm57 stereo vocals guitar these are my stereo ones uh, there's a bit of something coming through that which is fine and then uh, my window sound left and right or window sound right here so i probably want to deactivate those two but whatever so yeah, you can rename things now, and it makes things exceptionally useful. You can even rename the outputs if you're so uh, adventurous, and that way you can have like sends. Actually, I'll just I'll just 
show you that why not so okay that's that's the input sorry output config let's say uh i have uh sends five and six this is uh two synth right or uh or two uh compressor right if i have a compressor i have a, a, a 3630 compressor right here uh, which would be stereo. So actually, for this the sake of the argument, uh, five six stereo outputs would be two compressor. I'll turn that off. So five six is activated. I can do that. Then I can go external out five six to compressor. I can also do that um, external instrument thing. Wait, no. Oops. Sorry. External effect audio to no wait audio to sorry to compressor and then that all works audio from you know i'd have a, a compressor input let's say 11 12 right and that's how you'd set that up and that way you easily kind of remember all the io that you have and uh, that works out well so that is ableton live 10 how to rename the io and things you do to go about it. Hope you learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.